sorry. to channel sport this morning is a full house now we're being joined by two fantastic uh, guests uh, cecilia okay. let's start um we have next Mike. close okay. to you start yeah, right close to me okay yeah. we have a uh, coach uh momodo sadiq yeah. he's a coach from saint savior schools and also we have a manje Ayida Ayida. from uh, fitness instructor also from saviors uh, saint savior schools in ikoi and you guys are the organizers of the third edition of the uh, Lagos Kids Marathon. I mean, mm -hmm. This is going to be the third one, and we understand the last edition, like it was about 1,000 kids, right? Mm -hmm. From 22 schools participated. So this year, what are we going to be expecting? I'll start from you, uh, Aida. <laughs> um, well, thank you for having us on the show, first mm -hmm. of all. Uh, definitely this year, we're expecting a bigger turnout. Each edition has gotten better and better, mm -hmm. so um, we really appreciate the support. Um, and from you guys as well, thank you for having us and supporting yeah. us on this. But yes, yeah, so we're expecting just more attendance. Um, we try to learn from each event okay. to improve for the next one and so on and so forth. So um, we just uh, we try to make it bigger and better. Bigger okay. and better. Bigger and better. I yes. love that. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's <laughs> natural. And you, you, know, you do a first event, you expect the second one to be a lot better. And Absolutely. And there's a third one as well. Too. So I'll just come to you, uh, Coach. Um, yeah, what, what, what I, know, I know, I know that. <laughs> I, was, I, 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 I want to ask, like, what specifically uh, is going to be different from last year, you know, to this year now? Yeah, oh, I, specifics. I, I, specifically, I think the, the timing, the, the organizing of the, the marathon itself, the kids in uh, timing and then putting them in places, Last year, we, we had some one or two problems Pick in ups. terms of surging, and we, we want this year to be extremely better mm. organized. Mm. We, we want them to go in a flow manner. Okay. That, uh, once they come out, they, the children are released. They to don't go. run into they don't each run other. Into themselves. Okay. Mm. They don't come into the places Lanes where you, you will see children okay. falling into each other. Fantastic. So organization is expected to be a lot better uh, this year. Uh, I'll get back to you, um, uh, Maje. You're a fitness uh, person. Mm -hmm. Right. So that means uh, the <laughs> fitness and the health of these kids majorly in your hands. Like, uh, yes. how's, that, how's that working out? Um, for me, uh, it's, it's a personal mission of mine, actually, right. so to try to impact um, all the schools in Nigeria um, with the fitness bug, 
you know, we're trying to light a fire, um, get children excited about exercise, because right. I think it's important that exercise is mandatory at the school level. Absolutely. It's something that um, hasn't always been the case. It used to be. Sports and fitness used to be mandatory, yeah. you know, back in the day. But now, somehow we kind of lost our way. So I'm trying to really bring that back here through our organization. And I think this marathon is a perfect platform for that. So we've actually been on a school tour, oh. going from school to school, um, wow. coaching the kids on fitness, teaching them how to exercise at home. Right. You know, so that they can also teach their own parents okay. how to exercise, you know, mm -hmm. so it always gets them very excited, gets them fired up. Mm -hmm. But I think it's important for it that, that fitness is, is something that is on the school curriculum and is actually used to engage children, Ooh. teach them to be more disciplined, True. teach them to be more focused. It does actually affect the brain as well. Yeah. And um, and uh, and of course, the physical um, we, you know, we're trying to reverse childhood obesity and yeah. stuff like that. So we just want a more active nation. Okay, well, active nation, and there's no better place to start than with the kids. Start with the kids. Yeah, we're seeing pictures from uh, last last, uh, last edition and all mm. that. We've seen both parents, kids, and all that. But I'm thinking, yes. you know, from what you guys have, you have the 1.2 kilometers and different up to five different kilometers and all yes. that. There's categories for the kids and all. Absolutely. But here we're seeing everybody practically running together. <laughs> so how do you distinguish between who is running the 1.2 um, well, and the, the for 5 the For the youngest kids, we yep. try to partner the youngest kids with their parents. Okay. So when they're younger, so that, of course, you know how it is. Okay, you know, two to five, When yes. they're particularly <laughs> young, you know, you need their parents with them. But as they get older, actually, you know what, Coach? Yeah. Why don't you tell us about uh, okay, yes. <laughs> the breakdown? The, the breakdown is this. The, the younger ones, that is four to... Six, okay. You're going to have the parents working with, with them. With it's them. a walkathon. Oh, okay, it's not okay. Going to be they're not running. Okay, they're not running. Yeah. Okay, okay, fine. You, you, the parents are to work with the, the younger ones. Why the seven and nine will do the, the running itself, running 1.2 kilo. Okay. They are allowed to run without any assistance. Okay. Mm -hmm. If your kids are you're running with or walking with this child, you're allowed to carry okay. that child up. Then the, the next level, the next um, it's, classification is uh, 9 to 10, okay. which okay. goes for 3 kilo, kilometer. Then the next one is 13 to 15, that goes for the 5 kilometer. They are all going to be running at the same, same time. time, but the distance different. Different, okay. That's remarkable. I mean, you, you know, it's hard. Sometimes there are some kids who are like 5. They, they feel they're big. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not a child anymore. They want to run on their own. What happens to such kids? <laughs> well, that is why we, we said more organized this time. Okay. You are not allowed to do what you cannot what? do. We right. don't want you then to finish and become a problem for the parents. True. It is well structured that between this year and this year, you are not to run. Mm -hmm. If you're jogging, is okay, but mm -hmm. running with others is not. That's no, why the like. parents have to get hold of them right. and work with them. Okay. All right. uh, outside the kids now, you, you talk about uh, the children will have to educate their parents on you know, fitness and all that. Mm -hmm. Are the parents going to have their own category running? No. no, okay, no parents. This is a kid's marathon. It's a okay. kid's marathon. It's a celebrity kind of role, you know, outside side of the no, 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 no. All about the kids. It's really parents oh, that yeah. want to run with their kids. Yeah, That's okay, oh, fine. definitely welcome. That's about so it. we don't want to exclude anybody, but it is a kid's marathon. So how many so, schools are we expecting this summer? Wow. Last time we had 22, right? How many? We are going to have more. I oh, okay. cannot say. More <laughs> yes. than 22. Going to, some are still asking questions. How do we register? Mm. How do we come mm. in? All right. But it's just that a day... To that marathon is closed. It's closed. Oh, so right. how do they come in? Yeah, you can come in if it's over. How? No, what I mean, for how those that they, are yet to register now. Yeah, yet to register. So how do yeah, they... Yeah, it's, it's still open. Okay, okay, you can tell them. So why do the they first, go to, to actually they, register? Through the, the net or they come to St. Xavier School right. and yes. register. They get the pack for the... Uh, 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 and They're going to get bibs and everything. Yeah, they, they get t-shirts. They mm -hmm. get the bags containing everything they need. The kids mm -hmm. and all of them. Yes. Uh, how you're going to ensure that some of these kids are really fit to run. And also the website they can go to, how they can contact you guys. Just absolutely, details absolutely. of those who want to come in into the race. Um, I think it's important, definitely to sort of spread this whole active bug. We want kids to be active. So um, I try and teach the kids to remember to stay hydrated, okay. right. to warm up properly right. before the actual run, because Warm-ups. you don't just get up and start running. Start running you know, that's what leads to injuries and stuff. So just teach them how to exercise properly. But for those that still want to register, you can go to the website. It's uh, www.ssievents.com. Right. Okay, sSIevents.com um, dot ng sorry ssi.com dot ng okay, okay. ssi events dot com dot ng right. you can register there it's a fee of about three thousand naira 
I believe, for registration. Um, and you're free to come, and you're welcome to the marathon. It's so easy. Right. And it's very easy. And it's open, open to all website. schools, it's private, open. public. Absolutely. Right. It's okay. open to all schools. And mm -hmm. keep in mind, the marathon actually is on the 2nd of November, right? That's right. this Saturday. Saturday. And it's, uh, it starts at the San Xavier School in Ikoi. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, it's going to go down. It's uh, 7 a.m., I believe, yes, 7 a.m. That's it. Uh, can, can we get the room? So kids, yeah, yeah. Okay. be at the venue at 6.30 a.m., right. very right. important. Right. Okay. When is it going to close? We're going to have a close at like 11 and... Well, it's, it could be... Till about 10. 10 it, it goes until about 10 a.m. 10, okay. Yeah. yeah sure. And the race starts at 7 o'clock. Right. Okay, and obviously, as we've expressed earlier, there are different categories. Yeah. Um, if you want, I can actually tell you okay. a bit more about the categories. Why not? So you have the 1.2-kilometer run, which mm. is for 7 to 8-year-olds. Okay. okay. You have the 3-kilometer run, which is for 9 to 12-year-olds. Right. All right. Yeah. Then you have the 5K run, which is for 13 to 15-year-olds. Well, the, right. the, the, the big boys. The big boys. That's <laughs> when they come all serious. I mean, you should see them <laughs> stretching and warming up, all focused, <laughs> like they're going to the Olympics, you know? And uh, the final category, which yeah. is probably the cutest category, yeah. is the 1.2-kilometer walkathon, as, okay, we, as the Coach said earlier, about. which is for the 4 to 4 to 6-year-olds. Yes. Mm with their parents so they can be accompanied by their parents they right. usually need to be and they walk it you know Fair enough. So. okay coach you're from saint savior schools i believe that you'll be i mean wanting your kids you know one of the you know your kids to actually be the ones to win this how have you been training them i mean what have they been doing perfecting strategies and all that for this one? really i will tell you straight away we don't <laughs> practice for marathon okay we practice for everything called sports okay mm -hmm. that's cool all the games we that's why St. Xavier School is now noted worldwide as the best school in sports. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. We go to different competitions all over the world. Mm -hmm. We come first. We train for athletics, football, swimming, basketball. Each time we go out, we Wow. Win. That's so, so like I won't say marathon is yeah. the, a complete you know, sporting training school. Yeah, we, so you, it's not, not a sporting school. Yeah, we, well, we, 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 <laughs> you have whatever to we do, into the curriculum. we excel. Okay. Our wow. motto is to excel always. In everything. Exactly. And, so you're not actually uh, channeling a particular program for the kids that are taking part in this marathon. No, There's no, no, no. It's just that we Which is why we go on this tour. Okay. As well, because this is about fitness. It's about activity across the board. I think it's a preparation for life. Yeah. Absolutely. And the standard that St. Xavier sets is a standard that we would hope to see down the lines of generations to come in all the schools across the country. Perhaps. That would be okay. great. That would be it's great. wonderful. That would be great. We yeah. can't wait. Saturday, that's the second, yeah. right? Yeah. This yes. Saturday, second, starting at 7 a.m. And it's going to start at St. Saint Saint Xavier's Saint School. Absolutely. So those kids who want to join, you know, somewhere along the road and all that, you think you're late. Mm -hmm. You just have to be at the school yeah. at 6.30. Kids be at the venue at 6.30. So it's not acceptable. Be at the yes. venue at 6.30 and, and you get to participate in the race. And you can get t-shirts right. as well. Yeah. There are t-shirts for adults as well, for any adults that want to attend. Okay. Okay. 3, as an hour. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And you get your t-shirt too. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming to the program. Thank we you. We just guys. can't wait for that day yeah. to happen. Thank you so much. Wish Thank you a successful uh, event. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.